Church of Nativity, and this is the oldest church in the land. This church was built for the first time in 325 AD, at the time of Queen Helena, the mother of the Emperor Constantine, when she built up the first church. So that used to be the first one, and later on 529, Samaritans, they destroyed this church. So by that time, until another emperor, called Justinian, he built up the existing church in 540 AD. So we're now in one of the oldest churches in the Holy Land that we're talking about 540 AD. From that time until now, no one destroyed 600 of the Persians left the Holy Land again, and they destroyed every single church. But when they reached the Church of Nativity, no one destroyed it. So why do you think Persians, they did not destroy our church? Any idea about the existing one? <laughs> Any idea about this? Huh? It's because of the three wise men. One of the three wise men, it's a Persian, right? So in the 6th century when they built up this church, we used to, to have in the outer side of the church a mosaic that shows the three wise men. The Persians, when they came here, they had seen a mosaic. They recognized their king, and that's why they did not destroy this church. So that's why we're talking about the oldest church in the Holy Land, that it still exists somehow in a very good, good condition. For sure, they remodeled many things, like the roof and the mosaics that we're going to see it and talk about it later, and a lot of things that they remodeled by time. But, but about the structure of the church, we're talking about the oldest church. Okay, friends, now we're getting inside here. We're lucky that it's not that huge queue to get down there. We are lucky. Yep. We are more than lucky. Yeah, sure. Because you're with <laughs> us. <laughs> so now, please follow me. Let's stick with the line so we can get down there. So we're getting in about, about, <clears throat> about 15 steps going down there. Into the right side, you're going to see the star of Bethlehem symbolizing the birthplace of Jesus, which is uh, the birthplace of Jesus. Okay, so you can kneel down, touch it for blessing, you can take your photos. The Star of Bethlehem got 14 points, that's symbolizing the 14 uh, generation times 3, which is from Abraham till David, David till Babylon exiled, Babylon exiled till, till Jesus Christ. And one more thing, it's symbolizing the Via Dolorosa, the station of the cross. Mm -hmm. So the 14 stations. The 14 station of the cross. So basically you're going down, you're going to see that, you can kneel down, touch it for blessing if you like to, you can take your photos. We're lucky that it's not that in, that busy. At the same time, if you look into your left side, we're going to see the place of the manger, where Jesus slept after he was born and they surrounded him with an animal to warm up this place. So that's basically the two main things that you're going to see it. And remember, it's a stable. So in your imagination that Jesus was born in a stable and it should be wooden stable, right? But here in the city of Bethlehem, as you notice, our houses and everything, it's made out of limestone. And it's a similar thing into the cave. That cave, it used to be as a stable at that time. So this is how it is. Long time ago, about 2,000 years ago, and that's the same time the structure of this church, which is the cave, and then they build up the church. Okay, friends? So I'd like you to stick together right now here, so we can get down. There. Can you hear me? Silent night, holy night. <laughs> it's the real now. Anna promised them to see Smiling Mary. Yeah, here is the Lady of Bethlehem. She's Smiling Mary. Remember, the only Smiling Mary in the world. Because after presentation, she didn't smile anymore. Church of the Nativity, Jenny Ari, Martin is Hi our guys. driver. Hi, <laughs> driver. Take my it, picture, please. Ah, I didn't see you. Oh, how are you? <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 look at it. <laughs> One more friend. Yeah. <laughs> then um, is our tour guide, and I say driver because they know everything. Oh, yeah? Already? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Car race, the best in Palestine. Oh, <laughs>